हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कारवान माय नेम इज ईशान और आज मेरे साथ हैं विदुषी नीला भागवत जी और नीला भागवत जी द फैमिलियर नेम फॉर लवर्स ऑफ हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक द वर्ल्ड ओवर एज अ फ्रंट रैंकिंग एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ द ग्वालियर स्टाइल ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड सिंगिंग शी इज अपहेल द एस्थेटिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द ट्रेडिशनल म्यूजिक एंड and at, at the same time as an innovator herself innovative performer herself she has combined the purity of a rag with folk idioms of medieval poets like kabir like shaja like meera and many others and these as well as her other innovations relating to the traditional form to the contemporary concerns have brought her critical acclaim in india as well as in europe in this conversation we'll talk to her about her career about her life about her music so neela ji thank you so much for agreeing to do this such an honor it is to host you yeah i love sharing my experience with others because i can learn a bit from that too <laughs> thank you so much and and i i hope you won't mind me calling you neela ji <laughs> Not Let, let's start the conversation with tracing your family background. Can you talk about your family, your father, your mother? Yeah, my uh, father uh, he was a textile expert. But besides that, our uh, wada, our uh, in Pune, was situated such that we were. Uh, on one side then other side there was uh, if you have heard of the first finance minister of this independent country kaka saheb gargil n v gargil he was we were living just behind his house and uh, my father also was very friendly with his nephew so he used to go there and they used to study there and of course he was influenced by kaka saheb gargil's that uh, period of see uh, around 1947 48 that kind of congress socialism was very different and then there was the sevadal also rashtra sevadal they had a huge uh, for yard and in that all of us used to play there and uh, we were also influenced by many songs all my aunts used to sing my father used to sing he was a, a, he was an intelligent man but he also was an intellectual because of uh, having uh, in, internalized so many principles of social democracy at kaka saheb gargil's house that that was that era of socialist democracy and uh, that congress was like that and uh, my father was very much influenced uh, by all of that then he and uh, my mother they married there was not a love marriage but uh, my mother's brother was in my father's class and uh, then my mama thought that ha huh, he is a good boy good for my sister so that's how they got married i was born in 1942 <laughs> so, my mother always told me that uh, when she was in the ninth one she and my father they were going to the uh, august kranti maidan to be a part of that procession and uh, then he came across his friends the friends said are what what are what are you doing your wife has a weak tummy and if somebody you know uh, does something to it maybe she fall or somebody usko kahi dhakka lag gaya to aise mat kar tu ghar ja abhi aise हालात में बीबी को लेके ऑगस्ट क्रांति मैदान में मत जाओ तो वो बेचारे घर आ गए मैं कभी कभी इस घटना को इंटरप्रिट करती हूँ कि आई वाज एक्चुअली वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन द रेवोल्यूशनरी मोमेंट ये एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी आई थिंक आई जस्ट 
was participating in a radio discussion on Marx, and I read the fundamentals of Marxism, and I thought, my God, this is a great way of changing the world that uh, you come across. And when I read the uh, history of Marathi literature, I, I realized that uh, I could really count on some five, six great writers. Why don't we have great writers? I was very upset with that idea. And then I came across fundamentals of Marxism. Then I thought, ah, there is this petty bourgeois mentality to look at life and that kind of respect only the respectable things of the, this is not right. The lower class, we don't know. We are not fair to them. And that has been, we have the caste hierarchy, which is horrible. So I, I have to study that part of our society. So 20 years ago, there was a revolutionary Sara Dimag mein chad gaya. Aur, as uh, one of uh, our comrades, comrade Tara Reddy, who was in the CPI, <laughs> Tara Bai used to say, Te ek bhoot hai. Marx, once you read, you will never forget that. And once you read, your life has changed. It's like a ghost which has sit which is sitting on your head. Now you won't be free of it. Now you have to handle that. She used to say that. And uh, probably she was right because I've never given up. I still call myself a Marxist. And uh, then feminist because <clears throat> Marxists also have this contradiction of not being fair and equalitarian to the woman they live with. So I could not take that and I started rebelling against it. And that is what I think we all feminists got together in around say 75. That uh, 75 was the International Women's Year and that really made great changes in all of us. So the, about my childhood, I would still say that my aunts used to sing. My father used to have a tambura. And I think he was born in 1916. So maybe when he was around uh, um, after 20, when he was about 20 years, he must have bought that tantura. Then he also had a tabla and a harmonium. He was not going to become a professional. But he was so fond of all these things and he had them with us. And I think it was really great of him. When he, had the, he was really farsighted in that. Because we had all the instruments in the house. And my brother used to play tabla. My sister used to sing. I mean, she still sings. She's not a singer. Though. I'm the only one who took uh, music as my profession, as my career, as my medium of expression of my personality and whatever I thought and believed in. So, <clears throat> um, but I learned all those patriotic songs at that time and we used to sing and we used to act them out. You know, me and my brother, we thought, I mean, singing is not enough. We have to act it out. So we used to act, we used to act out. And, that, you know, I think that kind of freedom that we had in our family, that gave a little impetus to expressing oneself in many ways. So we used to write, we used to sing, we used to dance and make plays in childhood. I used to write a play, I used to say. And then something I must have written. I, and now I don't know what I wrote. But then we used to tell all the adults, now, now, now we, you have to sit there and I'm going to make a play. 
and we have these characters. So we did that. I don't know how we did it and what was it, but we used to do it. And this was freedom of expression in the family. My aunt, who was my teacher, I used to go to the municipal schools those days. So I was with all the uh, lower castes, lower classes, and they were all my friends, and I never felt any gap between us. We were all equal, and we were all together. My aunt was our teacher. And she taught every poem, setting it to tune. And uh, I used to enjoy it, of course. And uh, that set the idea of composing a poem, I feel. And I always feel that, that unconsciously I had got the idea of uh, uh, anything that you feel like you can see, why not? Because my aunt used to do it and uh, nobody objected that everyone liked it. Then another uh, thing was my grandfather, my grandfather's brother, my grand uncle, he was a Vartari. You know, he, uh, he used to go to r and and uh, he was a <clears throat> follower of Nanishwar and the other Marathi saints and then he used to uh, we were neighbors only one small passage in between and we lived in that wada it was an old wada from the Peshwa period and uh, uh, my uh, grand uncle used to call me Nila, Salga, Rana Aman you know he used to call me to sing whenever his Vartari friends came. And then I was very much willing to sing. So I used to go and sit and I used to sing. I don't know what I sang, but I used to sing. And they all, uh, they were very happy. And I thought, huh, Vartari come together and they have that kind of love for each other. All that I was watching. And I think that must have been a deep-rooted influence on my mind to look at the medieval saints, Marathi saints also. And when I was, uh, we had the 12th uh, chapter of Naneshwari in, the, in our texts. So I was reading that and I liked it very much. And my mother used to worry that what is this girl doing? She is... At this age, she is reading Naneshwari and is, he, is she going to marry or is she going to live a normal life or is she going to be something else? What is this? She used to worry about that. But uh, I never paid attention to what she said. <laughs> I think I was a bit, uh, a bit arrogant also. Now I think that I must have been arrogant. She used to say, you should be able to cook a little. I said, uh, ah, but uh, when I see what you do, I don't think it's difficult to do it. So one day I will do it. So I have to do that. Then she said, okay, you can do it. But then you have to really think of a life in the kitchen also. I said, but look, what do you do? You cook. Then that means dirtying all these vessels. Then since they are dirty, you clean them. You clean them and you put them in the shed. If this is what is living a family life, I have no interest in this. I don't want to have that kind of family life. But she said, how will you survive? You have to do it. And uh, whether you marry or not, you have to cook for yourself. And... Uh, then uh, I used to say, I don't know what she says, but let's, let me see when it comes to the, uh, when that question comes in life, I will see. So that's what it was. But I was very much allowed to argue with my parents. And they did not mind it. I think they had that sense of freedom of expression.
and now when i think of other parents even in today's times they don't give that freedom they just give teach uh, you know how to behave you should not speak this here that should be kept in mind we never had that kind of secrets inside we all shared everything and that's why i said that i would like to share my experiences so this i think this was a habit which was inculcated by my parents i have a feeling now that it must be that freedom in the family that gave me the desire to do what i wanted to and i could do it now sometimes when i see others i feel my god how my parents accepted whatever i did with such uh, uh, sympathy and help and uh, complete uh, support but they did that <clears throat> they supported me and not just me my brother my sister my sister is a doctor and my brother was an architect and a builder and uh, we all were very well supported by the family and i think that is going on in the next generation also even uh, my sister's family or my brother's family the children they are all doing what exactly they want to do so that i think somebody had to decide that and that was my father in our clan because my grandfather was an old style man he uh, he was not much uh, educated he was not much worried about what is happening in politics he was not that my father got various influences and then he did uh, textiles he got the gold medal in the we text and he was a very intelligent man and he was he was also very socially aware he, he was interested in social work and me and my mother and father both were interested in bringing up children around the our house in the society they used to hold a, a katha mala this katha mala was introduced by sane guru ji and they also were influenced by sane guru ji my parents so they also were holding this this to narrate stories to children have a build up a library they had a library and they used to run my mother used to run that library and children used to come and take the books they studied how to write and how to register all that the children around they could do it and uh, they still remember that they she was known as bai that bai has taught her so much my mother was not very educated she studied only up to 6th standard but uh, my father naturally she was a free person to think about things she didn't we always said so ssc you should go and do. when we will look after ourselves don't worry but she said no no i don't feel like it now i am studying i am reading i am writing so that's fine so she didn't do the formal education she didn't going for but she was a very well developed person very much uh, developed as a person and that i think my father was uh, behind that he was a uh, very a uh, kind and generous man uh, who ultimately he felt that in being generous and kind and supporting all progress of everyone around in the family and others he didn't earn much money <laughs> just the night before he passed away he was telling me that maine kuch bhi paisa nahi kamaya how oh, do you think you are not earn what you have brought us up so well what is money after all it is the individuals who have to be very good and that you have done that is more than money that is more important than money but he used to feel that perhaps he felt that because he thought uh, 
it can't know more what will the wife do because she is not educated. I yeah, said, so don't worry about such things. We are there. And uh, this was just the night before. I, I couldn't believe, I almost felt that he knew that she was going to die. Because he said, huh, this account is there, that account is there. He says here, I said, why are you telling me all these things? He said, no, but you should know. <laughs> I lived with my parents and my brother lived in Pune uh, separately. Mostly the brother lives with a and the boy lives with the parents, but here I was living with the parents. Then my first marriage was with Arun Kokar. He is a film director. And uh, we were, we grew together as intellectuals, as Marxists, as uh, socially aware people, culturally aware people, doing, uh, working in music, then sing, dance, and theater. And uh, he used to act very well in, as a child also. And we all were writing because we had a group called Jagruti Mandar that was uh, uh, led by uh, Tara Reddy and uh, her CPI um, comrades. So we used to have that mandar and we did a lot of work at that time. We brought out a magazine. So those days were cyclostyled magazine. We had no money to get it printed. It was, it was too much at that time. But we used to cyclostyle. And uh, it was great. I have some few uh, issues of that. We called it Bharud. And that Bharud issues I still have. I have preserved some of them. And uh, that was a wonderful period, I feel. It was more in the middle part of 60s and the later part of 60s. And uh, those were the days when we really felt very rebellious. We could uh, work with students. We used to, uh, it's not just taking a morcha or something, but trying to express yourself and share it with others. So that magazine was circulated very well. Tara Reddy and uh, her husband, Jail Reddy, and uh, then other comrades, they were all uh, into this activity. I don't know how, which other CPI members were there. I can't recollect many, but these three were there. K. Shashi Pradhan, Tara Reddy, and GL Reddy. So that was my CPI connection. And around the same time, there was uh, uh, some kind of idea that no, but they are very, very honest. So we must also be close to the CPM. I got close to the CPM as well. I was in Congress at the time when I strike in So I used to go there. And I used to the workers what they Sometimes my father used to say, you are saying that the trade union movement is very necessary, but I'm telling you, the workers that I see in the textiles, they are not doing sufficient work. So they should work hard. Why don't you teach that also to them? And uh, later on, I felt that what my father said was right. And then we had to, you know, uh, socialize the working class in many ways, in many ways, which we were not doing. And some were doing it, but then it becomes again the political issues. No? It becomes like take a political issue, then go for a morcha. Then the Dalit movement was uh, coming up at that time. 
so we were also a part of that then namdev was there dasal namdev then uh, daya pawar then uh, there were many latif khatik and all these people uh, they were writers and they were fighters both ways so uh, we used to go with them and uh, babura bagul was there he was a very close friend of ours arun and i were quite uh, aware of all these happenings and ours was a open house any time any one could come arjun dangre gnaneshwar khade all these people they used to come home and chala re we will let's have something to eat kuch khana kha lenge to are yaar mere paas abhi itne hi paise hain chalo jaake kuch laate hain kar ke hum log matlab ek tarah ka ek collective life was very beautiful at that time there was no way if i have no money doesn't matter this one has it's everyone's work and we will have something to eat so that was the community or social or collective living that we were experiencing at that time very beautiful and uh, now i really feel that even after that when we all feminists were together we had wonderful togetherness in women's center i used to go every saturday i used to go there this was in 86 by then arun and i had separated I, we had a baby we had our son but uh, somehow i realized that it's necessary to live away and we decided to live away we remain friends and even now we are very good friends but I mean, there is no enmity because there is the basic ideology remain the same even now <coughs> so uh, and the son was a very sweet child so it was not very and my i was with my parents so they were kind of his parents and i was also there arun used to come home and uh, that now i feel that like that kind of you know separation with friendship is very rare but we remain friends he used, he used to come home every sunday he used to be with tapan and i insisted that he must know his roots my mother was uh, unable to understand it my father said nothing you do what you like but uh, my mother then i told her that every child has to know who is his father and who is his mother and that is very nice so arun has to come and all my other men friends who my mother used to like they also told her nay nay neela barobar bolte te dasach asayla pahije so they used to convince her that this is what it should be so he was i think as compared to other children of the divorced parents my son has grown as more normal than others i feel he grew very well and uh, now he will be 45 this year <laughs> he is married and he has a Uh, baby daughter and uh, she is named soera because soera bai's poetry was liked by my daughter in law so much she said if i get a daughter she will be soera we have a soera bai with us and i see the picture on your on your whatsapp whatsapp profile picture that's the picture of your granddaughter if i'm not wrong yeah 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 it is my granddaughter such a beautiful picture <laughs> she is she is quite a thing my god <laughs> she is she has that sense of everyone says something has is there in her which is like you that, that's what they say i think i'm sure she will be better than me but uh, she has that kind of social awareness which which is amazing you know she composes songs since the age of 3 or 4 and those songs are in english 
I don't know how she was going in an English medium school. So maybe English was closer to her than Marathi. So she used to say, I want to help the needy. Like that, she used to sing. So <laughs> she also uh, used to sing, I can do everything I want when I'm grown up. <clears throat> And I can do nothing that I want since I'm little. <laughs> used to make songs like that. <clears throat> I she's quite something. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you did your um, MA in Marathi and sociology and, and Sanskrit, you... and then and another MA in sociology. So you did about. Uh, Three MAs. So two MAs, two MAs. Double, double graduation in masters. Yeah. Lekin how did you then choose music as a career apart from academics? Um... Hmm. Yeah, that was a big decision for me also. I was uh, studying um, from, I, I used to study music since my childhood. When, even when I was 12 years old, we had a neighbor who used to teach us to study and I used to sing. For me, playing the tantra and singing for others, tam tam and singing, that, that was very common. I, I was a performer, I think, at that age also. And then I did my SSC and then going to Ruya College and at that time we were in Mumbai. Uh, so I learned from uh, G.T. Tirak who belonged to Jaipur Gharana and uh, <clears throat> I thought there are only tans. I used to sit at home and practice the tans and I could sing the tans. Then I thought, well, tans is not enough because life is so vast and there are so many things in life. How can you sing just the tans and capture that? feeling of life, you can't. So I gave up learning Jaipur. And <clears throat> then I heard Arulkar was a concert. That was also a poet friend of mine said, if you haven't Arulkar, you haven't heard music. I said, okay, I would like to hear. Then I went to <clears throat> hear him and I couldn't understand anything. So I met him. And I said, I, I would like to understand, but I didn't understand anything. I'm just being true to what I felt. He said, okay, you can come home. So I started going to his house and I heard uh, Sharat Sathe learning from him. That was a good exposure. <clears throat> and I was teaching as a professor at that time in colleges. <clears throat> but teaching for 200 people, talking about literature and singing was very difficult. So five years I taught and I was in fact a, a university uh, examiner also. I used to do a lot on that score too. But I thought that I have to take a decision now. And uh, <clears throat> I was lucky to get a job in the Tata Institute of Social Sciences. My friend, uh, she was going to US. She said, Nila, if you are free, why don't you take up this translation of Encyclopedia of Social Work in India <clears throat> into Marathi. I said, yes, I would like to. Because anyway, I don't want to strain my voice. I want to sing. Three years I spent in the TISS and uh, <clears throat> that was a very different exposure than Marxism because Marxism doesn't teach you how to build up society and what are the aspects that you have to take care of. Marxism at, uh, in those days definitely uh, could give you a perspective of the historical development, as they call historical materialism. That was, you know, that is 
that is very clear. Also, you see the various classes and the class struggle and the past struggle and the struggles in many groups. All the struggles we can understand better. And struggles due to the social position, economic position, that also I could understand because of the exposure to Marxism. But sociology and social work helps you, you know, help others to help themselves. That we never study in Marxism. We, we should. Now I think the way has changed. But in social work, this is their motto, to help others to help themselves. So that I could, while translating 3000 pages, I could understand that. That this is very necessary. And uh, now if sociology is giving us some kind of theoretical structure to understand social work, then I should do it in sociology. Actually, there is not such thing, but social work and investigation into issues and people's lives and people's community living and individual living, all that was happening in the social work institute. And that I really enjoyed that way. I used to like it. <clears throat> and uh, then I did sociology. I spent two years in Bombay University studying sociology. Then I thought I was also, uh, I mean, I could save my throat from getting the bohat hi ho raha tha, to wo sara kam ho gaya. Abhi bhi hai, gaya nahi hai. As I sometimes, my friend Arun, Arun said, Arun Kukar, Neela, what you are doing is, main apni khasi nahi dungi. That is true. So, I have not given my own food yet, but it is also going to be a song. So, I think... After that, so after that this job, uh, you, you transited to music. Tra I transited to MA Sociology. I was anyway doing music at that time. And that is why I gave up my lectureships, because uh, one throat, one voice, and two jobs, it's impossible. So I gave up <clears throat> lecturing and uh, I was learning music and in, I started learning at the age of 26 when others have become performers, I had begun learning. <clears throat> but I, I didn't mind that, I didn't regret it at all. So by in about five years in 1974, I started uh, teaching music. So in my last 48 years, I'm teaching. <clears throat> because I thought after uh, doing the encyclopedia, then I would rather work on sociology of music. And the, the category which suffers the most in this uh, field of music is the music teacher. And I, I thought, let me become a music teacher to find out what it is and why it is. <clears throat> so the theme that I had taken up for myself was socialization of a musician and its relation to the teaching methods of music. So in that, I... I used to interview musicians and uh, there I realized that my God, uh, most of them are absolute believers. In the sense that, ye to Allah ne diya hai, ye to Bhagwan ne hame bataya hai, ye to humare kapal par likha hua hai, ye sab chalta tha. So I used to wonder and I said, okay, that's what you think. And I never argued with musicians. Somehow I thought it's impossible because I'm at a very different position. And they may not understand why I'm asking them such questions. So I better not ask. They have done so much in music. Let me respect what they have done. 
and let me try to understand and put them put their work into my uh, uh, verbalizing ability I, i was trying to do that verbalize their work in fact so i did that for quite some time i interviewed women musicians and men musicians then i my uh, guide dr narayan uh, virendra narayan he was my guide so narayan sahab said that neela look you have just divorced you have to be on your own and you have started teaching music your project is wonderful but first be on your own first stand on your own feet your parents are fine but you have to be independent <clears throat> and he said abhi ruk jao abhi itni jaldi nahi hai tum kaam karte jao i wrote so much at that time i studied so many books i made notes i wrote the interviews i have a whole lot of books with interviews and uh, <clears throat> i learned a lot from that but i haven't written on them somehow then i uh, i was building up my own perspective on music through that kind of you know i mean i i realized that my approach the first and foremost break i think is the basis of life which is humanitarian thinking so i am a humanitarian <clears throat> and then i studied all those vandishis and i could never argue and i, could, I never really asked my guru also to why is that i thought it's not his area but my area can never become his area so let me be by myself i never uh, told him that i make my own bandishes it was impossible i thought i mean i believed in sharing the truth but i could not share the truth with him because then he would have got angry he belonged to a very old school of um socializing the man children he never could have understood me so i thought the best thing is not to tell him anything so i didn't and i realized itni aasani se jhoot bolna mujhe kabhi nahi aaya tha to mere guru ji ke sath baat karte hue mujhe yadi aise laga ki no no he is not going to like it pura maine unko aise kuch bata ke deti thi कि जो उनको एक्सेप्टेबल हो आई हैड टू डू इट बिकॉज अदरवाइज ही वुड हैव थ्रोन मी आउट ऑफ द हाउस एंड आई थॉट ही हैव समथिंग लाइक द ट्रूथ इन द इंस्टिट्यूट्स ऑफ ख्याल गाइड एंड आई डेंट वांट टू मिस आउट ऑफ दैट सो आई डिड इट एंड लंबी लंबी बातें करके उनको कुछ भी झूठ मूठ की बातें बता के मैं सीखती रही एंड सीरियली दैट आई एम मोस्ट सीरियस ऑफ ऑल हिज पीपल आई एम द मोस्ट सीरियस अबाउट म्यूजिक एंड आई वॉज सिंगिंग ऑल्सो बट ही डेंट वॉन्ट मी टू परफॉर्म मच बट देन आई डेंट टेल हिम अबाउट माई परफॉर्मेंस आई नेवर हर्ट हिम दैट वॉज द मेन आइडिया दैट इफ ही इज गोइंग टू गेट हर्ट आई टेल हिम Okay. I have my friends. I have uh, my parents. I have everyone there to support me. I hurt him. I never hurt him that way. You talked about your uh, first group, uh, Pandit uh, Sharad Chand uh, Arora. Okay. Uh, but you also had another guru, uh, Jal Balapuriya uh, Sahab. Jal Balapuriya. The reason was my. <clears throat> Arulkar was was a little stingy about giving the bandishes. He, uh, if I say, "Wow, I like this bandish very much," आप मुझको हदम वाला सिखा दीजिए। नहीं सिखाएं। Not now. Then then. There was no answer to when. 
आई थॉट आई छिपे से मैंने जाल साहब से सीखना शुरू किया For those who do not know Pandit Arulkar and Pandit Balapuria, both of them are considered to be touchstones of Gwalior Gharana, the most yeah. important exponents of the Gwalior Gharana in some sense. Exactly. Yeah, Jal Sab had many bandishes. His repertoire was very good, but actually, see what happened is Jal Sab also could not uh, accept my position. I counted how many bandishes I learned from him. I learned fifty-six bandishes from him, and I was singing them. And I wrote them down. I wrote the notation. I did everything. Then, uh, when I wrote a book on Krishna Rao Shankar Pandit, which was a monograph, uh, Ashok Vajpayee asked me to. He was in the Madhya Pradesh Kala Parishad. एंड अशोक जी से मिला जी अभी पंडित जी तो गुजर गए आप उनके ऊपर मोनोग्राफ करिए बिकॉज ही न्यू दैट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग ऑन म्यूजिक ही न्यू दैट एंड ही रियली इज अ परसेप्टिव मैन ही नोज हु शुड डू दिस हु वुड बी एबल टू डू दिस वर्क एंड ही टोल मी एंड इट रियली हेल्प मी अ ग्रेट डील I I went to Pandiji's house. I went to 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 house. Delhi to meet Lakshman Pandit ji. Then I met many of Pandiji's students. <clears throat> and also Arul Perbua had a beautiful analysis of the aesthetic sector. That was one position which Pandit ji himself liked it very much. Krishna Rao Pandit. He uh, considered Aul Karbo as a very important disciple of his, and uh, used to regard him very highly. And <laughs> in fact, Pandit Ji was a very generous, kind man, and he could appreciate a lot about others also. And Aul Kar, yes, he was very fond of Bua, but. Uh, Bua used to be critical of everyone, and now when I think of that, I used to think, "Oh, why is he critical? There is something in that." And uh, still, Bua used to criticize. And then now, when I think of all of that, I realize that he gave a point of view. Bua gave a point of view to me. Otherwise, I would have been overwhelmed with that great music. It is great, no doubt. But there was a point of view about it, which was given by Bua, Arul Bua. Jal Sahib, I think, used to follow the aesthetics of Arul Bua, and uh, I found him very strict about sticking to the notation given by his gurus, who were. एकनाथ पंडित डिसाइपल डॉक्टर मोघे एंड लाल साहब हैप्पी लर्न फ्रॉम हिम इट इज एकनाथ पंडित पास्टर एंड अरोलकर ऑल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम हिम बट बुआ हैड हिज सेंस ऑफ एस्टेटिक्स वॉज सो गुड दैट द बंदिश विच ही लर्न फ्रॉम डॉक्टर मोघे ही सेटल्ड इट वेरी गुड सो i again i had to be a little cunning with both because i mean i accept that because there was no way out then i didn't tell arul ka bua that i am learning from jal sahib he said if you go there then you can't step in my house i said but i'm not going there as the pillai is like that i know that why should i go when you are my guru i don't have to go anywhere I used to say that. Then Jal Sahib also once he said that now you should give my name as your guru. I said you both are my guru. Who can I deny that? I can't. So there I kept quiet. And when I did the book, the monograph, which was released in Bombay. Uh, it was in english and uh, it was between hindi and english mujhe laga ki main angrezi mein thoda acha likh sakti hu 
हिंदी मेरी इतनी अच्छी नहीं है मैं बोल लेती हूँ थोड़ा बंदिशे वगैरह बांध भी लिए हैं लेकिन किताब लिखना मुझसे नहीं होगा इसलिए मैंने अंग्रेजी में लिख लिया तो वो जब रिलीज हुआ तो बहुत सारे बुआ साहब के पुराने शिष्य लोग आए थे तो उनके साथ जाल साहब बात कर रहे थे और बुआ साहब भी तो थे तो उनको ऑर्गेनाइजर थे उन्होंने चाय के लिए बुलाया उन्होंने जाल साहब को नहीं बुलाया बस वो गुस्सा हो गया समझाओ हिम एनी But I I always kept in touch. I always kept touch. used to to go to him on Guru Purnimad, and I sang when he was there, and I sang afterwards also. When he passed away, I used to go to him also. <clears throat> Till the COVID years, I had gone for Guru Purnimad and Ram Sir's birthday. So all that, I, according to me, I was. Uh, I I had to do this as my duty to what to Jal Sir who had given me quite a lot. So, वो सब हो गया. लेकिन वो भी अभी रास्ता बंद हो गया. वो आसाब कुछ सिखाते नहीं थे. मैं ऐसे चलो अपनी बंदी शे तो हो रही है. Maybe that is my road. So I was making my own compositions. So I mean yes. and in 91 i started working on kabir also after anand patwardhan introduced me to kabir i was working on kabir i made so many compositions then i thought why not meera then the osho people came to me and they asked me we use your singing for meditation why don't you do the sahajo bai also i did sahajo bai also they did they made my Cassette and then CD. So, and uh, let let's dive into the world of music. Uh, and can you briefly introduce Gwalior Gharana for the audience, for those who are very new, who are beginners, who do not know about the oldest established Gharana in the Hindustani classical tradition? See, Gwalior Gharana doesn't believe in. only laikari or only tunefulness but it's a blend of the poetry then rag and tal which they say theka so all the three elements come together to build up a khayal design and they call it design usko wo shakal kehte the जब आप गाओगे तो अस्थाई की शक्ल देखो और उसको बढ़ाओ दैट वॉज एन अमेजिंग आइडिया दैट आई एम मेकिंग अ म्यूजिकल डिजाइन इन आई एम सीरियस टू मी इट्स लाइक अ पेंटिंग इट्स इट्स लाइक यू नो एक्सप्लोरिंग लाइफ टू दैट कंडिश लाइक आई वुड डू इन अ नॉवेल और इन अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी और इन सिनेमा it the frame of the avartan is a lot like the frame in silver that was a revelation to me and thanks to arun and then kumar shani and i mean they all we all used to think together kumar also for a few years he and roshan shani they both learned from me. and learning meaning i used to teach bandishis which used to discuss music and the aesthetics also and we really compiled all the experiences into a very nice and clear kind of analysis of the khyal aesthetics
which Bua thought of. The, the main person was Arunkar Bua. But then I started writing and which Ashokji could uh, identify that the, here is a person who is doing it. So he gave me that book. And after that, even uh, other followers of Panditji, they were angry with me. I don't want to name anyone. But they were angry with me. Then <laughs> the Bhatkande followers were angry with me because uh, it was published by popular publications. And uh, Ramdas Bhattals, Ramdas Bhattal, who uh, said, yes, Neela, we will do your book. So <clears throat> he was learning from Agra Gharanas, Bhatkande followed Dinkar Kaiteni. So Dinkarji was very angry with Ramdas. Why did you do it? Wo to, uh, in fact, when we organized the release, I invited Dinkarji to sing. And I asked Sharat Sathe to sing. Bua was presiding over the function. Jal Sahib was there. All other Gwalior followers were there. But Dinkarji and Sharat Sathe, I, mean, I didn't project myself also. Because I thought Charad is a senior uh, disciple, and let him see. And then Karji, after all, that fight is over now. We are all together, we see the whole body of music. So in that, I don't want to have go by that fight and invite only some Gwalior. I invited him. He used to sing very well, and I was quite fond of his singing. So, but... <laughs> He had that polemics about that whole old polemics between Panditji and Bhatkande. He followed that still. So he was calling Ramdas. Anyway, we always liked Dinkarji. So we used to um, invite him to sing and uh, perform and yogesh. And we, we have no fight with anyone in music. Because the basic fight is with humanitarian philosophy and all the enemies of humanism that we see around. That is the basic fight. और संगीत में कमाए उन दोनों को इकट्ठा करने की मैं कोशिश करती हूँ और उन्हीं को मैं गाती हूँ पेश करती हूँ उनको सिखाती हूँ उनको लिखती हूँ और क्या है ये एक बहुत बड़ी एक एक जीवन दर्शन है उसके अंदर कई लोगों का मानना है कि जो ओरिजिनलिटी ऑफ़ द बंदिश है दैट शुड बी मेंटेन and but on the other hand, the true sense of art comes from only the individuality of the artist. Jab wo apne khud se apne rang us bandesh mein lata hai. So, uh, what do you think uh, about the originality aspect of a bandesh? Because you have said that originality ki baat ki ki all these gurus had their own you know bandeshes with them, and they used to tease that same bandesh in that same composition to their students. See, simple bandish mein leti hoon, keh sakhi kaise kariye bhariye, jin aise lalam ke sang, sunari sakhi mein ka kahun to se hunne hi ke jana tadhanga. Now, this is an old bandish in Yaman Kalyan, ek taal mein bandhi hui hai. So, <clears throat> uski originality mujhe jo hai, wo dikhai deti hai, interpretation. Keh sakhi कैसे ऐसे लालन के Oh, 
ओरिजिनल से इट इज डिफरेंट बट फाइन आई वॉन्ट टू डेवेलप कैसे 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 तो सुनरी सखी मैं का कहू दो से के जात दो See, when you sing the bandish, you think of many improvisations of the same design. Yes, okay. If I go on singing, that it's boring. But if I sing. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. The original thing is, but I need not go on repeating that. I can guess it, Kariye, Bhadiye, Gena, Aise, La. ये इम्प्रोवाइजेशन इज क्रिएशन इट इज एक्चुअली द आई आई मेंटेन द ओरिजिनल बट आई एम मेकिंग माई ओन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ इट इनफैक्ट दिस बंदिश इज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट्स अ ग्रेट बंदिश बिकॉज it's a conversation with with the close one sakhi is anyone who is close to you it need not be just a sakhi it is somebody who is very close to you you can share your thoughts and ideas well i know now i mean if i have to interpret i can say that kah sakhi kaise kariye bhariye lalana ke sang lalana is too nice a word and wo lalchao bahut hai uske andar but if unahi ke jana ta dhang mein apne ruler ke bare mein bhi baat kar sakti hu ki unke sare pratap mujhe malum hai aur unka sara jo bhi bayan hai main janti hu i don't know how to deal with that kaise kariye ye baat hai can be interpreted politically it can be interpreted in a personal context anyway i think that is the creative ability in the gwalior bandishes because they say that shakal dekho ab usko badhao dusra wo kehte hain asthai ki nayika ko dekho usko pesh karo to nayika ho ya nayak ho koi bhi ho उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता फर्क कहाँ पड़ता है वो क्या बात कहते हैं और हमें उस बात को कैसे बढ़ाना है कैसे रीइंटरप्रेट करना है आई एम री इंटरप्रिटिंग इट इन माई कॉन्टेक्ट आई एम लिविंग इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी विच मीन समथिंग टू मी आई एम नॉट लिविंग इन दीन और एटीन सेंचुरी आई एम लिविंग अप नाउ in a global world which is a problematic world and i'm confused about how to deal with it i'm disturbed by that so that disturbance and that uh, idea of my 
understanding of that world and the issues in the world, I can talk about in this foundation. ये contemporary हो जाती है जैसे सदारंग की एक बंदिश है वो साहे साहे मन धरे जो सहते हो उसको पकड़ के आगे जाओ ये सदारंग की बंदिश है और सदारंग आगे चार जाकर कहता है कि मुझे और कुछ नहीं चाहिए मुझे अपनी संग और ताल और तान सुर पूरा करने दो और मुझे कुछ नहीं हु इज द सिंगल से दैट मुझे कुछ नहीं चाहिए सभी कहते हैं मुझे सब कुछ चाहिए बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड सदारोस्ट क्रिएटिव पर्सन वी हैव इन द हिंदू मुस्लिम कॉन्फ्रेंस और जो हमें सुन रहे होंगे उनके लिए Uh, मैं बता दूं कि सदारंग और अदारंग है दे आर कंसीडर टू बी दी ओरिजिनेटर्स ऑफ द खयाल ट्रेडिशन और पहले रचयिता है आज हम जो ख्याल गाते हैं उसके रचयिता सदारंग और अदारंग है बट आई थिंक दैट इज डिबेटेबल बिकॉज सम पीपल बिलीव दैट अमीर खुसरो वाज द वन हु स्टार्टेड द ट्रेडिशन इन दिल्ली एंड 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 आई वाज डिबेट गिव द क्रेडिट टू एवरीवन नो अमीर खुसरो वाज अ ग्रेट मैन He was so fantastic. I liked his. I liked his work very much. वो झगड़ा क्या है उसके अंदर? सभी creators हैं हम सब को मानते हैं. I am no interest in fighting with creators. Destroyers, uh, <laughs> yes. I I won't like the destruction, but <laughs> I like creation. <laughs> Uh, अभी क्योंकि हम ऑथेंटिसिटी ओरिजिनलिटी ऑफ कंपोजिशन की बात कर रहे हैं तो एक और इसमें जो सवाल जोड़ा जा सकता है ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ अ राग जो राग का बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर है वो ओरिजिनल है या नहीं ऑथेंटिक है या नहीं इस पर भी कई लोग सवाल उठाते हैं और क्या दिस आइडिया ऑफ ऑथेंटिसिटी इवन टेनेबल फॉर अ राग अभी मैंने ललित राग में बंदिश बताई आपको मन सुमी ना हमारे घराने में ललित को शुद्ध दैवत लेके गाते हैं लेकिन उसको एक और ऐसा भी बताते हैं कि चढ़ा दैवत है उतरा दैवत है जैसे मन उतरा भी आता है चढ़ा भी आता है ये जो है वो आगे सब गाना जब अनेकों को सिखाना पड़ता है तो कुछ उसमें सिंप्लीफिकेशन आ जाता है उसके लिए किन किन लोगों ने शुद्ध दैवत अपना समझा किन किन लोगों ने कोमल दैवत अपना समझा इतनी ही बात है इसमें खुद से झगड़े की कोई बात ही नहीं है म्यूजिक रियली ब्रिंग्स ऑल द झगड़ा इट रिजॉल्व देर इज नो नीड फॉर एनी झगड़ा आई डोंट नो व्हाई पीपल आर इंटरेस्ट बट आर बेसिकली इंटरेस्टेड इन इट मुझे कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है झगड़ों में आई रिसेंटली केम अक्रॉस योर 
uh, one of the most innovative works uh, with uh, vidushi aruna sairam jinhone ek sath hi ek raag ko raag kedar ko lekar aapne you performed it in the hindustani classical tradition and she at the same time she was performing the carnatic form aur kai logo ka manna hai ki dono bahut alag hai दोनों बिल्कुल अलग डेवलप हुए दोनों की सोशल हिस्ट्री अलग है लेकिन जब जब वी वी लिसन टू दैट कंपोजिशन वील पुट दी लिंक आल्सो इन दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो हाउ डू यू से थिंक दीज टू ट्रेडिशंस आर सिमिलर एंड व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट 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 प्रोजेक्ट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू यू नो टू शो See, when I went to the music academy in 1989 to perform there, I realized that there was a mess. Well, actually, was there, and as I was see, singing, she was singing. It not chagaya to me, but she was so, so nice. And there were many other. Chennai, me, wo. करके चक 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 करते हैं जब जब उनको अच्छा लगता है तो तो ऐसे बहुत सुनाई दे रहा था मुझे लगा यार हम लोग कितने भद्दा बिहेव करते हैं जब कोई कर्नाटक गाता है तो हम क्यों ऐसा करते हैं वाई कान टाई अप्रीशिएट कर्नाटक झगड़े फिर से झगड़े ये कर्नाटक है ये हिंदुस्तान है इनके इनको क्या आता है वो बहुत गौर करते हैं आ, ये ना कोई बात नहीं हम क्यों गाए कर हिंदुस्तान बहुत सारे हिंदू कर्नाटक गाने वाले हिंदुस्तान की ओर झुके हैं क्योंकि मुझे लगता है उसका उसकी एक वजह है ये है कि वो जीवन के साथ बहने वाली धारा है हिंदुस्तानी संगीत और यदि कर्नाटक संगीत भी सिर्फ भक्ति के धारा को छोड़ के आगे जाए तो हिंदुस्तानी वे because the problem for me is to be able to sing 16 notes i could not do it so <clears throat> mujhe main ki aadat thi mujhe khatke ki aadat thi khatke hote hain karnatak mein lekin main itni nahi hoti to maine main wagera leke aisa sa maj मैं गाई थी और उस समय जो भी लोग थे इतना अच्छा लगता है कहते थे बट दे वॉन्ट टू मेंटेन देयर आइडेंटिटी आई थिंक द होल आइडेंटिटी पॉलिटिक्स इन अवर कंट्री हैज made its impact on us we are the most fragmented country <laughs> it's so sad and we are so much together culturally but to be like fragmentation we like separatism i'm not i'm behave are baba okay but you are a human being no i'm a human being let's see the commonalities nahi kahenge <laughs> they they usually say if there are two political parties they have three parties to belong to each one has one party and they both have another third party ye baat hai to ab kya hai usme chalo koi baat nahi i mean one thing which aruna and i could achieve is to appreciate the other system and that was very beautiful unke andar kuch ek dugun jaisa hota hai mujhe bahut acha laga meri bandishon mein dugun aa gaya hai i liked it <coughs> if if it is nice and playful why not accept it wo maine maan liya 
you have modified your own singing style and added some features of karnataka so we also have the gun but it's more there in the dhupad style and uh, in khayal gaiti dugun te gun cha gun na zyada nahi karte lekin karnatik mein kya hota hai pause bhi rehta hai wo pause ke karan kuch bahut dramatic element aa jata hai wo bhi maine utha liya karnatik se or i i want to appreciate that i like it i did it and uh, there are many common ragas like samaja varagamana is my pounds it is hindoram bhoop hai mohanam hai aise kitne raag hai ek aur raag mujhe bahut acha laga जिसमें मैंने एक बंदिश बांधी मैं अभी उसका नाम मैं भूल जा रही हूँ इट इज सारे मी पारे सा रेवती उसका नाम है इस रेवती को और हिंदुस्तानी में और कुछ कहते हैं लेकिन मैंने उसको रेवती करके ही समझा है I made my bandishes in Ravet. It's a beautiful rag. I like it. Now that you have uh, mentioned Dhrupad, so this is one question that comes because Dhrupad is considered to be the oldest form. In my mind, before Dhrupad, and when Dhrupad's existence was a little less, then Khayal evolved in during the Mughal times and in times around that. So, do we see Dhrupad's influence in Khayal? बहुत देखता है राग तो वही है ना ध्रुपद में क्या किया था ध्रुपद में देर वॉज आला इन द नॉन टोन एंड देन देर वॉज अ सॉन्ग विच प्ले विच इज प्लेइंग विदाल एंड दैट इज इट कर्नाटिक में ऐसा ही होता है रागम तानम पल्लवी होती है वो ध्रुपद जैसा ही है ख्याल बिगिन विद आला Yeah, afterwards, I think Agra Gharana started doing them because they come from the Drupad background. They do a lot of nongtom and then they sing their bandish. It's their choice. Each one has one's own choice. Why worry about it? I sometimes do that. Sometimes I, my Jalsa has a fantastic idea. What Jalsa does is suppose again, let me take Kahe Sak. If I'm singing Kahe Saki. I Jalsa when he began when he began he used to sing. इंटरेस्टिंग एंड कंफ्यूजिंग थिंग इज वाई बोथ ऑफ देम डिड इट एंड वेर डिड दे लर्न फ्रॉम दैट अबाउट कृष्णराव शंकर पांडे ही वॉज सो तैयार that if he sat in the uh, audience he would say ah ah shuru karenge unko koi warming up ki zarurat nahi thi hame unko lagti hai warming up ki zarurat hum warming up karte hain unki baaki peedi ko bhi lagi zarurat ji उम्र के कितने बचपन से उन्होंने गाया है और कितना देखा है थोड़ा निसार हुसैन खान साहब को भी सुना है पिताजी से तो सीखा भी है कितना उन्होंने देखा और सीखा है 
उनके लिए इट्स फैंटेस्टिक फॉर ही उनकी जो हुकूमत थी पूरे गाने पर ऐसी नहीं दिखाई देती जबरदस्त <coughs> थी बट द लेटर जनरेशन है इन ग्वालियर घराना फैंटेस्टिक थिंग इज नो बड़ी कॉपीज अदर्स we all sing in our own voice now i'm not supposed to have a good voice i'm not sweet i'm not feminine aisa aisa bahut kuch kehte hain but it helped me a great deal i thought see in my family my mother had a lata bai type of voice very sweet very high pitched which my sister has got but i got my father's voice which was rather husky ab jo bhi tumhe mila hai janam ke sath ठीक है उसको एक्सेप्ट कर लो और आगे बढ़ो तो मैंने बहुत काम किया फिर वॉइस कल्चर पे ध्रुपद भी करके देखा बुआ साहब ध्रुपद भी सिखाते थे ध्रुपद उन्होंने बांधे भी है हम भी ध्रुपद गाते हैं नुम तो माला भी करते हैं मैं शुरुआत एवरी डे आई बिगिन विथ नुम तो माला माई तो वो ध्रुपद तो है ही ख्याल में कहा नहीं है हम सब इंटीग्रेट करते हैं आलाप और ताल और बोल इसलिए ये इंटीग्रेशन हुआ कि बोल आलाप का इम्पोर्टेंस पर ब्रह्म परमेश्वर द बोल इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट दीना नाथ दुख भंजन कोई बात नहीं ठीक है हमें मालूम है अब उसको और क्या बढ़ाना है ख्याल में ऐसा नहीं है ख्याल में कह सखी कैसे करिए उसको तो बढ़ाना ही पड़ेगा कह इज अट सखी एलोंगेशन ऑफ वॉवल इज द प्रिंसिपल इन बोला कहे का ए बढ़ा दिया सखी कैसे अब ये भी एक प्रिंसिपल है कि जो दीर्घ स्वर है उसको लंबा लेकिन अब बंदेश में ही दिया है ये आंदोलन है निषाद तो क्या किया जाए अभी उसको बढ़ाए न बढ़ाए हाँ कभी कभी आराम से आ जाएगा तो बढ़ा लो कोई बात नहीं सिर्फ इन ख्याल ट्रिमेंडस फ्रीडम इन द ख्याल गायकी ऑफ ग्वालियर घर बिकॉज देर इज बोल आई डोंट क्लोज माई सेल्फ टू लाइफ आई एम ओपन टू लाइफ एक बंदिश हमारे पंडित जी ने गाई है कृष्णराव पंडित जी ने कहा से कहूं उनकी व्यथा देशकार में है तो आई आई उनकी व्यथा आ गया मुझे लगा यार ये तो पूरा जो फार्मर्स वहां स्ट्राइक करके बैठे हैं उनके बारे में तो बात चल रही है अब पंडित जी को ना था संग नाउ बट the ability to interpret that i have uh, interpret kaise to unki refine that way the bandish it is wonderful bandish to ye baat hai hamare yahan aisi bandishe hain ki ek aur bandish malcolms mein din ni ke beete jaate hain aur vishay ke tejo kaam sab sang chale nahi yaar uske baad kya hai जो जल पानी बीच बताशा जो जल पानी बीच बताशा कब से बांधी मुठी आशा अब बताशा लेके पानी में जाओ तो वो कैसे रहेगा मूरख फसा मोज के फसा तो उसके बाद देखो गई सांस नहीं आती है बिना के 
पीछे जाते हैं और विषय के त्यजो काम सब संग चले नहीं आते हैं इनाई भीते जाते हैं ये बात है उसमें क्या पुराना है क्या नया है सस एवरीथिंग कैन बी इंटरप्रेटेड इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट इज द कॉन्टेक्सचुअलाइजेशन ऑफ एनी थिंग दैट मैटर्स in any art and that can happen in khayal gaiki of this gwalier gharana i mean it's a tremendous gharana mujhe aur main sabhi gharane isi gharane ke andar dekhti hu laikari bhi hai dugun chaugun bhi hai sur to lagna hi chahiye uske siwa gana hi nahi hota bol bhi hai kavita bhi hai kavita hai to kisi bhi kavita ko hum ga sakte hain ये बात है ना ये इसके सहारे हम हिस्ट्री में आगे चले जाते हैं हम कहा रुके हुए हैं आई एम नॉट आई मीन आई लव दंदिशीज इन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी विश सदारण में बट सदारण वॉज फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट द किंग इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे यू नो द स्टोरी ना ही वॉज he and adaran they had to leave the court because uh, mama cha ko laga ki are ha ye to bin bajate hain ye uh, dupad walon ke sajinde hain to inka khud ka apna kya hai then they thought well it's rather insulting let's do something so they went they left the court they made their own bandishes and uh, then they sent their shishas to sing and the king felt that are aap to mere se baat kar rahe hain to ye communication was missing in him that came in khayal aur aapne alaap ka zikr kiya to matlab khayal mein bhi alaap ke through raag ko explore kiya jata hai aur kya alaap to na hi hai wahi to music hai और uh, <coughs> पढ़ रहा था कि टर्म कॉल्ड मुंडी ध्रुपद जिसमें जो ध्रुपद का पूरा फॉर्म स्ट्रक्चर है वो है बट विदाउट द मुखड़ा इन इन ख्याल गाय की आ, मुखड़ा तो चाहिए बंदिश को किसी भी बंदिश को तो सम पर कैसे आए बगैर मुखड़ा सम पे तो आना है तो मुखड़ा तो चाहिए लेकिन <coughs> उसके साथ हम शुरुआत नहीं करते there are bandishes which begin with the first beat but otherwise we begin somewhere else and arrive at the first beat so that arrival on the beginning of the rhythmic cycle is i think it happens in khaya to isliye usko wo mundi kehte hoge ki mukha leke phir sam pe aate hain what does mundi mean exactly मुंडी अगर हिंदी में देखें तो तो इट्स हेड इट्स इट्स हेड हेड तो है वो हेड व्हाट इज हेड इन म्यूजिक द सम या या द सम सम से शुरुआत करो तो वो मुंडी नहीं है ऐसा कुछ है क्या सम के पहले कुछ मुखड़ा ले लो तो वो आ गया आ गया क्योंकि उसको अभी एस्टाब्लिश किया है कैसे मैंने सम ले ली अभी मुझे डेवलप करना है जीना 
डेवलप जितना करना चाहो उतना हो सकता है ये कहते थे कि निसारू सेन था साहब एक बंदिश को एक एक घंटा गाते थे एक 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 दो दो घंटे गाते थे उनकी अपनी बंदिशें भी हैं तराने वगैरह भी है ये सब ये सब लोग बहुत क्रिएटिव है इसलिए इन्होंने अष्टपदिया बांधी हद्दू खां ऑल्सो वॉज वेरी क्रिएटिव to understand that Ashtapadi can be sung. He told Bal Krishna Bua, Arre yaar, apne gaiti mein in Sanskrit padon ko bandho, Ashtapadi bandhi ho. Marathi mein kitne pad hai? Itne pad hai, itne prakar hai, Sangeet ke, sirf ek prakar ko pakde huye nahi hai, Gwaliya ke, Sangeet ka hai. क्योंकि वो संगीत ही ऐसा नहीं है कि प्रकार को पकड़ के रखो वो कहीं भी जाने के लिए तैयार हम उसको ले जाना चाहिए बस इनफैक्ट यू सेड समांतर अरुणा एंड आई यूज टू डू वी कॉल्ड इट समांतर बिकॉज देर आर पैरल फॉर्म एंड पैरल बट द लास्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट आई डिड वॉज ऑन इब्राहिम आदिल शाह Uh, compositions. One of my student, El Roy Pinto, he was studying and, uh, Ibrahim's poetry. He showed it to me. And I said, El Roy, let us make a program out of it. So we, I started singing some of the compositions. It is so beautiful. Sangeet ko hume. आदर्श चीज माननी चाहिए इसलिए कि उसमें सारे मेल दिखाई देते हैं इन वे आई मीन कर्नाटिक म्यूजिक में मेल करता राग कहते हैं मैं तो कहूंगी म्यूजिक मेल करता ही है मेल करने वाला है वो संगीत है ख्याल गायकी में एक और जो एलिमेंट है वो है अष्टांग ख्याल गायकी मंत्रोच्चार मुझे गाने हैं because the basic akshar in the indian languages is om om is the adi akshar so om ko gao kisi bhi raag mein so i'm going to sing say he ho na na mean ho gaye घसीट को बंदिशों में दिखाया जाता है ज्यादा क्योंकि आवाज को दिस के आगे बढ़ना है इस तरह का उसका फॉर्म है तो जैसे बना आई नॉट सिंगिंग दैट बना 
ये जो है वो घसीट है मेरे अंडरस्टैंडिंग के हिसाब से पता नहीं और कुछ हो सकता है बट आई थिंक दिस इज घसीट बिकॉज आई रब माई वॉइस ऑन दैट मेन घसीट गमक आंदोलन नो गमक तो स्लो पे स्थान है ये गमक है इसका बयान बड़े गुलाम खाली खास ने बहुत सुंदर किया है वो कहते थे इफ यू आर वॉकिंग ऑन द सैंड the foot goes down you pick it up and put the other step aise wo niche ja ke depth mein ja ke aage chalte raho wo kam kya sundar uska description diya hai to ye gamak hai wo to andolan maine abhi jo bataya ye ek tarah ka andolan dusra andolan jo मालकाउंस में आता है ये आंदोलन फिर खट्टा तो ये है कि सुर को व्यंजन की तरह प्रोजेक्ट करना है स्वर और व्यंजन दो चीजें हैं स्वर इज फ्लोइंग व्यंजन इज अ डिस्टिंक्टनेस ऑफ द साउंड द साउंड फॉर्म दैट इज द डिस्टिंक्टनेस हाउ डज द डिस्टिंक्टनेस कम इफ आई एम सिंगिंग दिस इज डिस्टिंग ये खट्टा है इसको खट्टा पटक आ ये भी एक खट्टा का अंग है आ ये पटक है ऐसा कहते हैं झमझमा कंपन कंपन तो यू नो वॉट इट इज मान पूछे पूछे ये कंपनी होगा छे है और उसके सिवा बात नहीं बनती वाह uh, जब हम हम रिसर्च कर रहे थे और फॉर्मली uh, 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 छेड़छाड़ बंदेश नायक इज डूंग छेड़छाड़ विद नायिका और दराउंडिंग सो वॉट ऑल थिंग्स डू यू एक्सप्लोर इन योर बंदेश इन योर कॉम्पोजिशन आपके ये मैंने लिस्ट तो नहीं किया क्योंकि बहुत सारे रिश्ते आ जाते हैं उसमें औरत औरत के अंदर एक जो रिश्ता होता है वो आता है समटाइम्स देर आर फ्यू बंदिशेज विच आर कम्पोज बाय माय गे फ्रेंड्स सो दे हैव द फाइट एज वेल एज द लव कोट टाउन The, the typical man woman love somehow has not appeared in my bandishes but <clears throat> the bandish definitely says that well if 
this is your goal and this is my goal. Let's concentrate on the goal. Let's not fight. So, ये एक और थीम है सहेलियों के बारे में बहुत सारी थीम्स है इकट्ठा होना सब लोग मिलकर कुछ करें इसके बारे में भी बहुत सारी कंडीशन है और आई रियली हैव टू लुक इन टू माई कंडीशन But then there are many themes that that have come. As I said that, uh, themes grad, guru ke, guru ke Kyunki, I, I really think in music guru is a great concept. So, usko hum chhod, main chhod nahi pai usko. So, uske upar bhi hai. But what is guru? In some ways what kabir says is right in this like the guru is the principles that he has taught and if you understand that then you have already internalized the guru guru is not the body of guru but guru is the teaching of guru ye uske andar aaya there is uh, what else is there there is some savan vagera hai sabhi kuch hai क्योंकि <coughs> okay, yeah. अंदर एक आ, कभी एक चाइल्डहुड रहता है उसके अंदर ऐसा मुझे लगा कि जब धूप आता है छाव आती है अचानक पानी बरसता है और धूप आती है तो लगता है कि एक खेल चल रहा है खेल चिपोली चल रही है ये भी एक लगता है ऐसे भी कुछ बंदिशें हैं एक कृष्ण के ऊपर मेरे दोस्त हैं कमल किशोर स्वरूप उन्होंने कविता लिखी थी उस पर मैंने एक बंदिश मांगी वो कहता है इतनी जोर में जियो प्रभु को क्षमा करो कृष्णा ये मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा कि आज तक हमारे सभ्यता पर ह्यूमन कल्चर पर प्रभु नाम की एक व्यक्ति ने बहुत असर करके रखा है तो अब हमें अच्छी तरह जीना चाहिए और क्या है इतनी जोर हो जियो प्रभु को क्षमा करो कृष्ण अच्छी लगी कमल की कविता नो बहुत अच्छे ख्याल हैं इसमें बहुत अच्छे थीम्स आपने बताए इन आफ्टर द कॉम्युनल राइट इन 1992 Uh, you you started exploring Kabir. आपने बताया भी आनंद पटवर्धन की फिल्म जो उसी समय बनी ड्यूरिंग दी डिमोलिशन ऑफ दी बाबरी मॉस्क इन अयोध्या सो क्या उसके बाद ही यू स्टार्टेड परफॉर्मिंग कबीर उससे पहले भी यू वर यू एक्सप्लोर कबीर इन सम सेंस बस काम करना शुरू ही किया और अभी तक लगता है कि कबीर में जो बात आती है वो एक तो हिंदू मुस्लिम कॉन्फ्लुएंस की बात आती है भक्ति सूफी का इकट्ठा होना उसके अंदर आता है और भाषाएं भी काफी मेल होता है भाषाओं का कबीर की भाषा में और ये भी एक है कि सारे रिश्तों को वो एक एक तरह से देखता है और हाउ डिड यू कंबाइन दिस वेरी प्योर क्लासिकल फॉर्म टू दिस फोक एडियम्स क्योंकि जो कबीर वाणी है या मीरा के भजन है ये सब फोक भाषा में लिखे गए हैं आम जन बोली में और दे आर इन दी श्रुति दे आर नॉट रिटर्न दे आर ओरल ट्रेडिशन तो हाउ डिड यू कम्बाइन बोथ फॉर्म्स बट दे come to us on a printed form right so i read a book of mira or kabir or shahjo or anyone tukaram or soera for that matter so wo mere liye wo ek tarah se classical literature ban jata hai jisme jeevan ke sare pehlu usme aa jate hain usme pyar bhi aata hai 
और उसके परे जाना भी आता है पूरी दुनिया को एक नजर में देखना भी आता है उसके लिए एक डिटैचमेंट अटैचमेंट कैसे होती है उसका मेल क्या हो ये भी आता है सब कुछ आता है संतों की बानी मुझे इसलिए बहुत पसंद आई कॉलेज में पढ़ा था लेकिन उस समय जो बिल्कुल नहीं समझी थी जो अभी समझने लगी वो उम्र के साथ भी कुछ समझ में आता है देन ऑल्सो आई थिंक आई हैव ट्रैवल्ड अ लॉट इन यूरोप मेनली सो यूरोप में भी उसको बहुत क्लोज है कभी भी my german friends told me nila you please do an english translation so oh. that we can translate the veer in german so that was a very interesting idea and uh, it was told to me in uh, around uh, 2000 or so but recently i met an old student of mine who is a professor of english rajendra shinde i told him are करके तो देखो हम अंग्रेजी में करेंगे तो उसका अनुवाद और भाषाओं में होगा आई रिट इन बुक बाई दू हम कबीर कबीर गाता गाता वाइल सिंगिंग कबीर तो वो ट्रांसलेट अभी कर रहा है we wait for the translation by uh, I, i really told you i know it's it will be very good <laughs> uh, so yeah. before coming to the final part of the conversation yahan pe hum baat karenge contemporary society ki but uh, ek baat jo aur uh, gwalior gharane se judi hai wo hai sapat tal uh, tal ka sapat tal sapat tal tal yes के बारे में अगर आप कुछ ब्रीफली बताना चाहें बिफोर वी मूव टू द आई थिंक इट इज आरोही अवरोही तान विच इज सपा दर्जे भी लायके बहुत होते हैं वाले इस तरह सीधी ताने उसके अगेंस्ट क्या आता है ये हम लोग कम करते हैं सीधी तान लेते हैं सरल तान लेते हैं आप यदि रहमत खान साहब की रिकॉर्ड सुनी है उनकी कुछ रिकॉर्डिंग है उसमें पूरी सीधी ताने हैं पूरे सपत ऐसे नहीं करेंगे सीधी ताने ज्यादा आती है उसमें वो सपाट तान है सीधी तान का अरोही अवरोही तान को सपाट तान कहते हैं थैंक यू सो मच मैम फॉर दैट एक और जो इम्पोर्टेंट काम आपने किया एज एन आर्टिस्ट वाज़ द डिजिटलाइजेशन ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड आर्काइविंग ऑफ म्यूजिक जो कि बहुत जरूरी है मेरे हिसाब से और जो हम भी इधर संवादी कॉन्वर्जेशन में वी आर प्रिजर्विंग कॉन्वर्जेशन अराउंड म्यूजिक वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यंग पीपल टू डिफरेंट घराना एंड डिफरेंट सो वॉट आर यूर व्यूज ऑन आर्काइविंग म्यूजिक एंड वाई डू थिंक इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू डिजिटलाइज दैम इट वॉज i tell you the first thing i realized that my god this book of mine if it gets torn what will happen to me what will i do no i have to write it down that's one thing then i was in england and my friend d morris who has done research on gwalior gharana gwalior gharana raag behag bandesh kaise sukh sove that was his theme of phd so dean told me nila please write some bandishes for me so i wrote them down then he said please sing them also i said are you if you want to learn why don't to learn properly no 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 i'm not sure about that but i want them to 
give them in right in writing to you. So I did it for him. I nearly wrote hundred bandishes for him. I came home and I said, if I'm doing it for Dean, why can't I do it for myself? Anyway, my books are getting torn. Abhi itni purani ho gayi hai. Jaise museum mein usko rakhna padega. Aise kitabe ho gayi hai. Purani purani. So I started writing. And I realized that I have something like 347 bandishis. Which are nothing. They are not much. But there are bada khyals, chota khyals, taranas. Then uh, bhajans. Then thumris, tappas, all the forms are there. And many tals also are there, like tilwara, teen tal, chap tal, um, dadra, rupak, keharwa, deep chandi, punjabi, pashto. Itne sare tal bhi hai uske. So, I have tal me or sur me likhe rakhe. Wo mere sum hai Ramkrishna das. Dash Babu, we say that he saw Dash Babu, so we will record it. So I said, okay, we will take a record, because he will not come to us, he will not come to us, he will not come to us, so we started to Then he said, I want to do the video. I was scared, I said, why are you doing the video? Because then I have to look nice and this and that. So I, in fact, you are doing a video and I'm just sitting in my home attire and home uh, presence, nothing. I have not decorated myself at all. No <laughs> bindi I didn't know exactly how to appear. But Dash Babu forced me to make it a video proper. So we have all the videos prepared. उसके 16 पार्ट्स हो गए। Then uh, I gave them to Anish and Shubha for their underscore records because they are doing a wonderful job of spreading these things. So I gave it to them. Then these books, uh, actually somebody has promised me to publish it. That has not happened. But Tejaswini Niranjana करके मेरी एक दोस्त और शिष्या है। she said, Mila, let's upload it. So we uploaded. That was fantastic. Then, uh, actually, the other story, the recent story I must share with you. Uwasa had written his bandishes. They were 1064. <laughs> Zada se zada mujhe dal sab se 56 mili or about 280 or something I got from Bua. Then I thought, Arre yaar, mujhe kuch bhi nahi mila hai. Ye Bua sahab ke paas ye bhi hagar hai. To unke guru ke paas das hagar honge. Or kitna sara chala gaya. Or ye hamari virasat, sab se badi virasat is culture ki jo hai, wo ye ho shai. Great music that we have. We have to preserve it. So, <clears throat> abhi wo kitab, wo asa ki, wo jab guzar gaya, to unki, unho ne kaha tha, isko jala do. <laughs> to unki, unka jo, unki body thi, uske, unko ek pair ke paas, उनकी वो ऐसी इतनी बड़ी किताब रखी हुई थी मैं जब गई वहां तो मुझे लगा ये किताब यहां क्यों आई है तो मैंने उनकी उनके भांजे को और बहू को पूछा तो उन्होंने कहा उन्होंने कहा है इसको जलाने को ऐसे जलाने की चीज ही नहीं है उसको कैसे जलाए सो आई पिक्ड इट अप फॉर्चूनेटली शी डिडंट फाइट विद मी सो आई पिक्ड इट अप एंड गेट इट अवे व्हेन आई गेट इट अवे my senior uh, Guru Bandhu Sharat Sathya took it at some point of time. And uh, I don't know, he kept it, kept it with him for 26 years. Na muchko di na kuch. Uska kuch bhi nahi kiya. Wo aise Quran. You know, there are bandishis written 
फ्रॉम मे बी नाइनटीन थर्टी टू और सो इतने कागज भी उसका ऐसा है कि जरा हाथ पकड़ो तो वो उसका डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाए ऐसा कागज हो गया वो पेंसिल से लिखा है वो और भी फेंट होने लगा है बट वेन शरद पास अवे शरद साठे पास अवे I asked his wife and son, and finally I got that book. And when I got it, I showed it to all my students, and I said, "Look, we have to preserve it. What, what can we do? The paper is so thin; we could not scan it. Plus, his handwriting is very difficult to understand. Then, a student of mine who was free at that time, Neil Cooper." नील ने कहा नीला जी आई विल राइट देम डाउन सो ही रूट ऑल दिस 555 ऐसे 505 ऐसे बंदिशे और 515 515 बंदिशे उसने लिख डाली देन वी थॉट वी मस्ट अपलोड देम आल्सो तो वी अपलोडेड देम ऑन लास्ट ईयर ऑन द 4th ऑफ जुलाई और 4th ऑफ अप्रैल Fourth of July, and uh, then we invited Shubhan Anish to release that uploading because they are the supporters of all such projects. <clears throat> so, ऐसे हमने वो भी अपलोड किया है. अब मेरे पास 1915 साल से लेके बहुत पुरानी सरगम गीत है. वो मुझे साहब के एक और गुरुबंधु थे काका पटवर्धन उनसे मुझे मिली है उनसे अरुण खोकर सीखते थे तो उन, उनके पास जो वही आई तो मैंने उसको पूरा अच्छी तरह से लिख डाला और वो वही मेरे पास है तो मैंने नील खोकर को कहा यार तुम उसको भी डाल दो अपलोड कर दो फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड फ्रॉम लंदन रही राहत राहत ऑल्सो स्कैंड and neil uploaded it so we want to upload everything possible hame kuch le jana nahi sab de dena i think there is something that we all must learn from you neela ji or <laughs> it's it's very important to preserve that absolutely absolutely i think we have to really do it. we owe it to our clavician you know and if we don't do it what are we there for हम इतनी गलत की हमें नहीं करनी चाहिए कि हमें दिया नहीं किसी को तो पुराने जमाने की बात छोड़ दो उनका एक नजरिया अलग था उनकी ट्रेडिशन एंड देन दैट वाज अ प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी फॉर देम वी आर लेफ्टिस्ट आई एम मार्क्सिस्ट आई एम अ फेमिनिस्ट आई एम आई एम आई एम थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्लोबल कल्चर और मैं नहीं दूंगी ये कैसे होगा देना ही चाहिए Uh, What else can you do? Yes, and coming to the last question because we we had a long conversation. I won't uh, keep you for long, uh, longer than this. Uh, seeing the contemporary world that we are living, especially the society in India that we are living in, there are many restrictions on the freedom of expression. Uh, what is then the place of art and its purpose in the times that we are living in? i think the art has to be modern now because uh, all said and done we cannot make a political statement we make a humanitarian statement now that is not very easy to combat and treat it as um, against the culture or country it is not deshadrohi it is for people and it nurtures people it nurtures their minds their brains they also say that if you use your mind and brain to see for music really helps you remain young remain alert remain you know uh, away from 
dementia and things like that. So, so it's good, good for both it. society and personal. It's is good for both. It's good for culture, everything. A society without music is uh, a society full of violence. I think. I don't uh, agree with that at all. You have to. Freedom of expression is a must. Because anyway, music pacifies you. Music makes you integrate your own self. Your mind, your thinking capacity, your, you have to remain physically also alert. Your throat has to be taken care of. Your breathing has to be taken care of. In the COVID time, I was, I'm a follower of IMR Yoga. So I'm, I was doing yoga and I was looking after my throat with Bhasrika, with Pranayam and the Tadhas that I always make. See, we have those herbal teas in our culture. They are fantastic. I make them every now and then. I have them with me all the time. They are great. So what we have as early Indian culture, which was ancient, okay. The ancient people were more creative than us. They have done so much work. Well, he may have to see we have Kalidas, we have Bhavuti, but we also have Bhas. And Bhas was such a great writer. He wrote a play called Urubhanga. Now, we know in the war of Mahabharata, Kauravas were the uh, bad people and Pandavas were the good people. But here in this play, Duryodhan becomes the hero. His thighs are broken. He is bleeding. He is on the war ground. He is walking. He was crawling on it. And his son comes. And his son says, Tata Putra Gachasi. Where are you going, my father, in this way? Then Duryodhana says, Ratrushatam Anuvachami. Tere so chacha jaha gaya hai, vahi na chaha. Ratrushatam Anuvachami. Meri jo bhai hai, so bhai hai, unhi pe paas na chaha. Now, this play, is very moving. You know, you don't find Duryodhana as a bad man. And one has learned the story of Mahabharata, Kaise Gandhari, Kaise Sar Ke Paas Baitha, or Arjun, Paon Ke Paas. Yeh Sara Humko Malum Hai. Lekin, Yeh Bhi Malum Nahi Hai, Ki Yoh Bhi Ek Insaan Tha. उसके भी कुछ एक इंसानियत में जो क्षण आते हैं उसके भी जीवन में आए तो दोस मोमेंट्स भाषा हैज पिक्चराइज्ड और ही वाज अ ग्रेट राइटर आई वुड से वी ओनली प्रेज कालिदास बट वी आल्सो हैव भाषा फंटास्टिक राइटर आई आल्सो हैड द opportunity to do Sanskrit as my subsidiary subject, Marathi and Sanskrit. So, it was very good for me, please. But I was like, I was like, I mean, it's great literature, you know. So, one reads it as literature. And I feel really sorry that we don't care much for it. I was in Budapest for a concert. And uh, I was talking to them about the swara and ganjan and how bowl comes and all. They wanted it as a kind of lecture demonstration. I spoke about things and I sang. 
Then after the concert, I met a lady. She started, Neela Ji, aap to bahut achha Sanskrit janti. I was taken away. This lady speaks in Hindi. She is a Hungarian girl. And she said, you know, I'm studying Sanskrit. So I was really amused by that. I, my friend Marie France in Paris, she is studying Sanskrit. So many people study Sanskrit. I go to Stuttgart very often and my students and friends over there, they say, teach us some Sanskrit verses. <laughs> I do that. और <laughs> That is the fantastic message of Gandhi. Understand everything. Wo, I think Ben Kingsley ne bahut achhi tarah acting kiya hai usme ki kitna wo Gandhi ko samajh sakta hoga. Aisa lagta hai kitna achha acting kiya. But alertness of Gandhi is lucky in that. That's what one must learn from. Him. Yes, and. Uh... I think the most fitting way to to kind of conclude this conversation and we had the absolute honor. I am I'm really thrilled that I had this honor of interviewing a, a great, uh, a, a very sweet, kind uh, uh, artist like you, Neelaji, who is very proud <laughs> feminist, who speaks up when needed, you know, takes up the social responsibility of an artist, which is absolutely necessary. And you, you, your, your voice is too, too grand and too, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And it really, I am, I am uh, starstruck today <laughs> after, after listening to you, Neelaji. So the most fitting way is a request uh, from my side. If you can sing Sadhu uh, Dekho Jag Borana by Kabir Sahib, which is also the ending uh, sequence of... Uh, Ram ke naam by Anand Patwardhan Yes, yes, yes. It's a very nice song. And what Anand did is generally I sing it with a tal. Anand said, no, let's not have a tal. Let's just have it like that. Then he was a filmmaker, so I left it to him. You should never interfere in the processes of creative process of another artist. So I sang it like that. But I sing it with a tal usually. Sadhu dekho jagabora. Sadhu dekho jagabora. Sachi kaho to maran dhave jute. Jagapati Ana Sadhu Deko Jagaburana Hindu Kehat Ram Hamara Musliman Rahmana Apasme Do लड़े मरत है मर्म कोई नहीं जाना मर्म कोई नहीं जाना मर्म कोई नहीं जाना साधु देखो जग बुराना साधु देखो जग बुराना माला पहरे टोपी पहरे छाप तिलक 
अनुमान साखी सब दे गावत भूले आत्म खबर न जाना आत्म खबर न जाना आत्म खबर न जाना साधु देखो जग बुराना बहु तक देखे फिर ओलिया पढ़े किताब पुराना करे मुरीद कबर बतलावे उन खुदा न जाना उन खुदा न जाना उन खुदा न जाना साधु देखो जग बुराना या विधि हसत चलत है हमको आप कहा सियाना कह कबीरा सुनो भाई प्यारे ए, 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 कहे कबीरा सुन भाई प्यारे इनने कौन दीवाना इनमे कौन दीवाना इनके कौन दीवाना साधु देखो जग बुराना साधु देखो जग बुराना साच कहो तो मारन धावे झूठे जगपतियाना साधु देखो जग बुराना साधु देखो जग बुराना जग बुराना जग बुरा